What is up, you guys? I don't know why, but all of a sudden, when I said that and saw myself, I felt like Caitlyn B. I don't know why, but I did. So that's my life. Um, so <laughs> I was just driving, I'm driving to school right now, and I was thinking, and I was like, you know, I really want to do a little like quick story time on my vlog channel about. Um, <laughs> There was this guy that I was like madly like obsessed with last semester. I thought he was like like such a good guy. Like I genuinely thought he was. And he would like flirt with me. I had other people like like confirm that and like validate it for me because I was like maybe it's in my head. Maybe I'm just like wanting it to happen. No, this guy was like outwardly flirting with me. I mean like he's a very nice guy so could be easily like confused but he was like I don't know. It was like extremely like aggressive in my opinion. Um, I feel like one of those memes that people make for YouTubers. And they're like, oh my god, story time. Like I was scammed. Oh my god. No, like I literally, this guy, I'm like, it's kind of awkward because me and my friend from that class, I won't say her name, we um, both thought he was like so attractive, like such a good guy. I would always like, comment in class and like look at her and be like oh my gosh like he's perfect because he he is he's a really good guy at least i thought he was flirting with me he was not apparently okay cool so this was like a while back um maybe like beginning of january before new year's around that time i had texted him and i was like hey what's up because i knew that he was um during class he was talking to this girl and I was like oh man and he was like describing this date he was gonna do for her and I was like yeah like you're perfect why like I just I was res I just love that about him it was great and by the way if you're watching this right now what mood um yeah so I texted him and I was like this, oh hey, how are you? And he was like, good, da, da, da. and I was like, I have a question, are you still seeing that girl? I was being extremely like vulnerable with my emotions at this point. I was like, whatever, I have nothing to lose, except maybe some dignity a little bit, but also like, whatever. You only, you only live once, right? You have to live your life, live your life. So I asked him and he said, no, um, something like it wasn't clicking or it wasn't the right vibe. And I was like, oh, cool interesting <laughs> and i don't know what i said but i like segued i think somehow i was like um oh or like i'm sorry about that or interesting or i don't know but i eventually had the nerve to be like um so we should maybe get coffee sometime or we should meet up sometime and I am not even kidding you. I've been never, and they're trying to be like, I have never been, I've never had a guy that said no to me. Like, no, I just, whatever, I don't even like care. I do care, so I'm telling story time. Anyways, so, uh, yeah. And he literally, like, dead AF told me, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in you. Um, he, saw, the, he said it, like the way he was texting, and maybe in person he didn't mean it this way, but he was, he sounded so arrogant. And I was like, I felt so awkward. And I just feel like if, like if I was in his shoes and a guy or whatever had like texted me and told me that, I would have found a better way to let him down easily. I maybe, I maybe I even would have like went with him. I don't know. And he was like, well, I don't want to lead you on, which I respected that. I was like, yes, sir, I understand that. But at the same time, like, he did not feel bad. I was like screenshotting that to my friends, and I was like, what is my life? I still, I haven't had the nerve to tell the other girl that he, um, that I would like in class look at and be like he's so perfect i haven't told her yet as i've been so stressed out but today she texted me and she was like oh my gosh i saw so and so today and whatever and i was like ha, 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 yeah <laughs> ah! so 
uh-huh i should probably like tell her before it gets awkward <laughs> i don't even think it will because nothing really happened but to me it's like in my head i have to tell her but i think she'll find it funny maybe i'll even send her this video link and be like hey guess what uh, <laughs> yeah but moral of the story here is um i'm i'm like laughing about it because i'm so glad that i asked him and had like the guts to do it and oh my gosh my song my song same literally me too um but like moral, moral of the story here is you have to live your friggin life and um i don't mean that like go streaking and like a busy like road when it's like you know cops like no I mean that like use your brain but also oh I have to go oh my gosh I should not have went that corner ah! okay we're good <laughs> I had plenty of time but to me I was like ah um so more of the story here is um if you don't go like streaking in like a busy area with cops like don't be stupidly live your life, but don't like, don't not, double negative, me too. I think it's important that I, if I have a, an urge to like text someone and tell someone that, or if I have an urge to go do something and go travel, that I don't push it aside and be like, oh, it's like, you know, not, not the right time. Cause like in reality, when is it ever the right time for you to get sick? When is it ever the right time for you to go do this or that or this or that. Maybe there's like a better timing, but there's never gonna be, ah! Sorry, there's so many birds. Like, they're flustering. Sorry, this is insane. But like, moral of the story here is like, there's never gonna be like a perfect timing to do anything. Why, why would this truck go when he has no room? are ridiculous here I can't this little Michigan farm town people you need to get your shields to get it he's literally just swerving why is he doing that I swear I can't tell a story people are, people are insane um cool so moral story live your life take a chance don't don't be stupid but like I'm happy that I texted him and I'm happy that I I know he was not interested in me but it also makes me happy because now I just don't wonder I don't want to like like what if like one day I'm like 50 years old and I will be one day you know and I'm just like wondering I wonder if that one guy from that one class I had when I was 20 years old was actually into me because I would not have known that and I was really I was like I was telling my mom and I was like do I like wait for him to text me and um, I was like, well, I kind of want him to like chase after me and um, My mom was like kind of like laughing because I was trying to be like I believe in chivalry and all this she is, you know um, And I ended up just texting him and asking him and it was awkward for like the evening I, I by the way I never replied so I was just like I mean what am I gonna say oh sorry have a good life like yeah what do I say it's like not I don't want to come off as like a rude person so yeah um I didn't really plan on doing a story time video the car today but I guess I'm gonna do it today anyways um yeah moral of the story you guys live your life don't like look back on your life and be like I wonder I wish I or like what if because you know if you have that urge go do it and some things like you on you obviously can't go do like I'm currently in college like I have priorities I have obligations I can't just like go and like travel the world but like that's like that's like such a, a fun thing to do but like like I said there's a, there's no such thing as like a perfect timing maybe like a better timing so like a better time for that to happen would be when I'm done with college. You know what I mean? So like for some things that are like in reach right now, girl, boy, whoever you want to identify as, go do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, queen. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Me too. I have to pee so bad. Um, I've been drinking these things. I'm just like, I gotta pee. Alright guys, so I am on my way to class and almost there so I will 
talk to you guys in a new vlog. Um, I really enjoy just doing like a story time on here, but I was originally planning on doing um, like a what I eat in the day video. Shoot, maybe I'll just do that anyways. Like just do it after this vlog is done because this is already like a 10 minute video and it's probably a good vlog, I think. I enjoyed how I was like presenting it, so we'll, we'll see. Um, uh, all right guys, I will talk to you very soon. Bye.